Valentino giving me. Come on, somebody. Reggie Sr. and Tim Brandon saw Orlando dead. They both saw Orlando dead. Come on, somebody. Reggie Sr. seen Orlando dead and Buntry dead. I'm talking to somebody. Respectfully. Now, this is a fan favorite supporter requested topic. There were two Orlandos. About two years ago, I did the topic. There were two Orlandos. I was saying there was no way Tim Brandon and Bobby Ladd could have pulled it off without there being two Orlandos. I don't see Orlando cooperating with these dudes. I did the topic about two years ago. I was comparing the faces. I was com comparing the body language. You know, now that Keefe D, he's behind bars, can't get bail, working some funny deal out. There's evidence he was in the white Cadillac that night in Las Vegas, that he got out and fired the shots. From 1995 to date, have you ever ridden in a white Cadillac? No. Do you know anyone who owns a white Cadillac? No. They like scapegoat or something. I just want to let everybody know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't do it. Have you ever ridden in a white Cadillac? No. Do you know anyone who owns a white Cadillac? No. I just want to let everybody know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't do it. A lot of hearsay also. Give me some thumbs up. Get the likes up also respectfully. Thank you for supporting the vids. Still out here in Cali, West Coast. You know, when you watch my channel and the topics I drop, I spoke about Orlando being in the cut. Where was the 13 on this dude's shirt? They was fighting. It was no way to hide this. Maybe that was a setup. I mean, he was standing there waiting and lay, waiting for somebody. And then Tupac shows up and they start exchanging words with his entourage and everybody else. And they start stomping and, and yelling and doing their silly things. But it was odd that, I keep saying odd, but the whole thing is odd. Everything surrounding the case is odd. Orlando Anderson is leaning up at a wall watching people come out of the fight. And this is near the food court. And the, and the bank of elevators is where this happened. And then you walk to the um, lobby through the casino a bit and then to the lobby. And um, it always struck me as, as that whole thing struck me as odd. Um, and they let him go. He did not have a ticket to the fight. He did tell people at one point and told the police that he had a ticket, but he didn't have a ticket. He did not attend the fight. He's from Compton. He had no reason to be in Las Vegas. He, um, he told some people he came here to gamble. He had no reason, and that to me is you've, you've got a guy at the scene of the crime and you have no reason for him to be in Las Vegas. So why was Orlando Anderson in Las Vegas? Nobody has been able to answer that question, and I asked the police that as well. He did not attend the fight, so he wasn't here for the fight. And then he just happens to be at the MGM waiting for, I mean, how did he know Tupac was going to walk through at that time? 1995, she had wanted to try some some cops that are doing security for him. I wasn't his choice, to be honest, to, uh, to probably be the head of security at the time. He really was reaching out uh, for my father, Reggie Senior. Okay. Who uh, was very well respected in the city of Compton. He had been around for a while with the game members. And uh, my father had got some intelligence that some of the guys that was working for Shug or planning to um, hold him hostage and um, extort him for some money. Oh, wow. Wow. And so what happened was he laughed it off. I was like, well, that's that's why y'all need to be over there with me anyway. I'm making money. I'm doing good. Come on, come and work for me. Okay. 
My father had no interest in it at all. My, me, myself, was having major problems with my ankle. Plus, quite frankly, I wanted to, to life, be around the lifestyle. I was probably only 27, 28 at the time. I was like, hey, I can hang out. <laughs> you know, I can get some guys to work and do some things. Were you in Las Vegas the night Tupac was killed? Yes, sir. Did you attend the fight with Suge and Tupac? Well, of course, I had a ticket to go to the, to the fight. However, um, I didn't. There was something going on that night that was really more important to me, in my mind, than being with Chug and the artists and all of that. That was the night we were finally going to get uh, a yay or nay from the person we were purchasing the nightclub from. So 662. Correct. Club 662. Would officially become a death row. A death row entity. Entity. What does 662 stand for? MOB, Members of the Bloods. So you were more than just uh, over the security. You were also helping him in some ways run the business? At that point, no. I would just say they knew that they can get the Reggie and usually you can get the show. OK, fair enough. Let, let me make it clear for the record, because it has been alleged that the security was instructed that night not to carry their guns. There's so much liability carrying a gun inside a nightclub you can't imagine. But yeah, I instructed my guys as the security director and the over 662 and all should get into the, you know, inside the nightclub, y'all don't carry a gun. Did you carry your gun with you when you were in Las Vegas? Yes, sir. Do you think that anybody else who might have been trying to get uh, what Suge had might have had something to do with it? this rumor that Tupac wasn't the target, but it was Suge who was the target. Well, that's crazy. We on the outside looking in. You have inside knowledge as to why this wouldn't hold water. Well, number one, if you're trying to kill Suge, why would you got to kill him on a strip uh, of Las Vegas on the night of um, Mike Tyson fight? But wouldn't that be a better alibi if it's on the strip and you can try to point to somebody else to say, this is the reason why? And, and I'm just, you've heard the rumor, so oh, I'm getting, oh, I want you to vindicate yourself while the world is watching. I think that's crazy to even think or believe it to myself. And I'll stop there. Keith, he did never get arrested. Nor do I want to see him get arrested. You know, let's get one thing uh, straight. First and foremost, you know, me and Keith, D played on the same Pop Warner football team. And whatever the circumstances, if he had an involvement with anything, if he didn't have any involvement with anything, I still, who want to see? I wouldn't wish somebody to go into prison on my worst enemy. The DA says that Keefe D was in the car with his nephew, and that presumably his nephew, according to the DA, is the one that shot Tupac, and that it was done with the full knowledge of Keefe. Um, do they have it right? It was only two people in the car, and Pac not going to tell the story. I ain't going to tell the story, but I tell you this, and I, I never had nothing bad to say about. Uh, uh, Orlando, because number one, he wasn't a shooter. Number two, he came to my hearing and told to let me go and told the truth. They still didn't let me go. If you are called to testify in this case, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Why not? Yeah, I wouldn't be. Why not? Well, number one, okay, because I'm not gonna get on the stand and testify on somebody for what? They seem to be saying that. Orlando was the shooter, and Keefe was in on it, that he had full knowledge of what was going down, and it was revenge for Orlando getting beaten up by Tupac and his team uh, at the MGM after the Tyson fight. Is that correct? No. Then who shot Tupac? It wasn't Anderson, so that's all I got to say about that part. To summarize. You are saying Orlando was not the shooter 
although you won't say who the shooter was, you are not saying whether Keefe was involved in any... Then who shot Tupac? It wasn't Anderson, so that's all I got to say about that part. To summarize, you are saying Orlando was not the shooter, although you won't say who the shooter was. You are not saying whether Keefe was involved in any way in the shooting. Um, and you are saying that if you're called to testify by either side, you will not comply, you will not testify. Do I have that right? A thousand percent. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't testify. None of that at the, you know, at the end of the day, free key PD. That's the one? Oh, all right, that ain't. I'm sorry, help me out again. Oh, you said Anderson, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. <laughs> S-O-N? O-R-L-A-N. I'm sorry, help me out again. Oh, you said Addison, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. From 1995 to date, have you ever ridden in a white Cadillac? No. Do you know anyone who owns a white Cadillac? No. L-A-N. I'm sorry, help me out again. Oh, you said Addison, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. L-A-N. I'm sorry, help me out again. Oh, you said Addison, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. Um, Keefe D had never get arrested. Nor do I want to see him get arrested. You know, let's get one thing uh, straight. First and foremost, you know, me and Keefe D played on the same Pop Warner football team. And whatever the circumstances, if he had an involvement with anything, if he didn't have any involvement with anything, I still, who want to see, I wouldn't wish somebody going to prison on my worst enemy. The DA says that Keefe D was in the car with his nephew and that presumably his nephew, according to the DA, is the one that shot Tupac and that it was done with the full knowledge of Keefe. Um, do they have it right? It was only two people in the car. And Pac not going to tell the story. I ain't going to tell the story, but I tell you this. And I, I never had nothing bad to say about uh, uh, Orlando because, number one, he wasn't a shooter. Number two, he came to my hearing and told to let me go and told the truth. They still didn't let me go. If you are called to testify in this case... I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Why not? Yeah, I wouldn't be. Why not? Well, number one, I okay. can't. Because I'm not going to get on the stand and testify on somebody for what? They seem to be saying that Orlando was the shooter and Keefe was in on it, that he had full knowledge of what was going down and it was revenge for Orlando getting beaten up by Tupac. And money always has some other come up. About how the money got there. Yeah, a money thing. It was a Sam. A lot of fuck shit was going on. The murder weapon, y'all remember that? 2017, y'all remember that? But this was not gang involved. This was strictly a money thing. It was a money problem, and uh, is what it caused. So it was not gang involved at all. You know, money always has some other commodity. What's the other commodity involved? I'm not sure what the monetary dispute was about how the money got their way. Uh, I can't tell you that. What well, does he do for a living in the not gang involved. This was strictly a money thing. It was a money problem, and uh, is what it caused. So it was not gang involved at all. You well, know, money always has some other commodity. What's the other commodity involved? I'm not sure what the monetary dispute was about how the money got their way. Uh, I can't tell you that. What well, does he do for a living uh, I, I never had nothing bad to say about uh, uh, Orlando because number one, he wasn't a shooter. Number two, he came to my hearing and told to let me go and tell the truth. They still didn't let me go. If you are called to testify in this case? I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Why not? Yeah, I wouldn't be. Why not? Well, number one, okay, because I'm not going to get on the stand and testify on somebody for what? They seem to be saying that Orlando was the shooter and Keefe was in on it, that he had full knowledge of what was going down, and it was revenge for Orlando getting beaten up by Tupac and his team uh, at the MGM after the Tyson fight. 
Is that correct? No. Then who shot Tupac? It wasn't Anderson, so that's all I got to say about that part. To summarize, you are saying Orlando was not the shooter, although you won't say who the shooter was. You are not saying whether Keefe was involved in any way in the shooting. Um, and you are saying that if you're called to testify by either side, you will not comply, you will not testify. Do I have that right? A thousand percent. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't testify. None of that at the, you know, at the end of the day, free Keefe D. You know what's really interesting huh. is that he is That's the one? Oh, all right, that ain't. I'm sorry, help me out again. Oh, you said Anderson, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. That's the one? Oh, all right, that ain't. I'm sorry, help me out again. Oh, you said Anderson, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. From 1995 to date, have you ever ridden in a white Cadillac? No. Do you know anyone who owns a white Cadillac? No. It ain't. I'm sorry, help me out again. Oh, you said Anderson, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. <laughs>